All right, bro, he kind of look good in Boston. He kind of look good in green. So if you see this Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday's agent or somebody in Drew Holiday's camp, if you're watching this video, Boston is a really good spot for you. That, Boston's a really good spot for you. Just, just take my word for it. Take my word for it. They took my word for it. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, Drew Holiday is a Boston Celtic. You know, I was sitting there, I was having doubts about what my team would look like right after the Damian Lillard trade went down. I was sitting there like, there's literally no way we're going to be able to beat a defense or an offense of Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo. But the trade I thought was not going to go down, it went down. It went down, ladies and gentlemen, the full details. The Blazers receive Malcolm Brogdon, two first round picks, one from the Golden State Warriors, and Robert Williams the third. Now I'm in I'm gonna need a second. I'm gonna need a breather. I'm gonna need a breather for a second. I'm taking a long ass time to make this video because when the trade initially went down i saw drew holiday i was laying on my couch i was like drew holiday's going to and then i scrolled down i see boston celtics i start celebrating i'm happy drew holiday J you know jalen brown jason tatum robert williams al horford poor zingas this is about to be the craziest team and then i saw that robert williams was part of the trade now the two people i didn't want to be a part of this trade was either Derek white or Robert Williams and I saw Robert Williams was attached with two picks and Malcolm Brogdon I fell to my knees just like Marcus Smart oh my god but I had some time to sit back I had some time to reflect on what this trade actually means for the Boston Celtics and for the East going forward and I'm not gonna lie this might be a 10 out of 10 trade for both sides as a Celtics fan we understand how good of a basketball player Robert Williams is and was for this team we understand that Robert Williams is injury prone we understand that there are some injuries and some things that come with Malcolm Brogdon and trading for him and the Blazers got the two first round picks that they were looking for for drew holiday but another thing that boston Celtics fans do need to realize is that we just traded malcolm brogdon marcus smart and robert williams for drew holiday who was one of the best point of attack defenders in the whole entire nba one of the best defenders period in the whole entire nba one of the best perimeter defenders in the nba he's a better playmaker than marcus smart granted he can't really you know score the basketball like marcus smart does uh in the playoffs he's coming off one of his best seasons shooting from the perimeter shooting about like 40 percent and another thing that dawned on me is that when it comes to playoffs and not even just the playoffs the season as a whole when it comes to drew holiday being on the boston celtics his offensive load is not going to be as big as it was in like new orleans or as big as it was in like milwaukee solely because the boston celtics have so many options on the basketball court that he's not even going to need to be able to shot create you're not going to ask that out of him because you're going to be asking that out of guys like a Derek white a jason tatum a jalen brown a poor zingus you know what i'm saying so drew holiday might fuck around and be like the fourth option to fifth option on this basketball team and he's not going to be doing the things that he was doing on the offensive side on his previous teams and that is another good thing about this trade because it minimalizes what drew holiday is doing on the offensive side of the basketball i really do like that we're only going to really be asking him to initiate the offense and knock down that three and that's something that drew holiday has shown that he can do now when it comes to the playoffs like i said we saw what drew holiday was doing in that milwaukee series it was disgusting but a reason why it was so disgusting is because number one drew holiday is not a shot creator we all know this and number two is because Giannis went down and he was forced to be that so obviously his three point percentage is going to take a dip his uh field goal percentage is going to take a dip his production wouldn't look as good as it would you know next to a Giannis or next to another shot creator that can actually get their shot you know what i'm saying and sitting back and looking at this right here a starting five, a potential starting five of Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Porzingis. If you ask me, number one, that's the best starting five in the NBA, in my personal opinion. And number two, 
that's a team that could win a championship i know i'm looking at the milwaukee bucks i said that their starting five is a championship starting five this right here is the embodiment of a championship starting five and i love every last minute of it but the reasons why it took me so long to make this video are all the negatives that come with this trade number one we need to talk about the loss of robert williams and it's not just the loss of robert williams as the player it's what he brings to the team he brings length he brings defense he brings help defense the depth that we have in the front court is something that is going to need to be addressed and Wenyan gabriel is not it that's not what we're gonna need to do me personally i think we should go ahead and just get daniel tice so once again you know what i'm saying when in doubt get daniel tice back on the team and i think that that is the perfect 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 move for this boston celtics team because it's not really you know a needle mover but it's a body that you will need just in case a poor Zingas gets hurt just in case an al horford gets hurt he's not playing the way that he was playing back in 2022 or 2023 i don't know if there was another way to get drew holiday on this team without giving up robert williams i don't know if there was you know teams around the league you know offering better packages so we had to up our value I, I, I have no clue, but if there was a way to get Robert Williams out of this trade and actually get the trade done, I say do that. If it had to be Jordan Walsh, let it be Jordan Walsh. If it had to be Sam Hauser, let it be Sam Hauser. But if this was the only way to go, I'm completely fine with it. And I've come to terms with that. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is we don't have that much point guard depth. Are we really going to rely on Payne Pritchard when he gets hot? He don't stop in the playoffs. I don't know because he's going to be getting hunted a lot. We only have six actual competent playoff rotational pieces on our team. And I'm hoping for that number seven to be Jordan Walsh. I really am because if this man can come in, play the defense that he plays while knocking down that shot at like a 37 to 40 percent clip i really do believe that he should be that seventh man i truly do believe that um i should have warned you guys what this video was actually going to be it's not going to be anything like my damien Lillard video because i am a boston celtics fan so this is one of the biggest trades that we have pulled off in a long ass time we haven't traded for an all-star since Kyrie Irving actually now thinking about it wow but yeah I went into this video basically just yapping about my favorite team and the trait that we just pulled off um it sucks to see Robert Williams go because he was my favorite Boston Celtic and Marcus Smart was it's just th this shit better pay off I'm gonna be really honest with y'all this shit better pay off because if Porzingis gets hurt if Drew Holiday flames out in the playoffs, if Jalen Brown still don't got that left, if Jason Tatum wants to be inconsistent again, then it, it's going to look bad for the Boston Celtics. And to be honest, on paper, man, whew, nobody's beating this damn team. I am so ecstatic. I've convinced myself that Robert Williams going wouldn't be really the worst thing in the world because i have a prediction and i'm gonna get it off right now so we can come back to this in june like we did last year with the denver nuggets when the boston celtics are playing basketball in june i'm gonna be sitting here telling y'all i told you so because it's not just the continuity that's gonna be built within these 82 games it's gonna be a mixture of talent skill leadership and just overall heart. Drew Holiday just got traded from the Milwaukee Bucks. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are both fed up. They got a chip on their shoulder. They want that championship. Porzingis, all you need to do is just prove that you could play basketball for a full season without getting significantly injured. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Al Horford, he had a bad bad shooting performance in that miami series and people were calling him a fake shooter they were calling him washed or calling him old these are all things that the boston Celtics are going in to this nba season with so one thing that i do want to say before this video ends and it's just like the dame video we got to talk about miami for a second because all the miami fans that were whining and crying that uh joe cronin is that his name jim cronin joe cronin didn't take pat riley's deal um the full dame trade is kind of looking like a fleece i mean deandre a and robert williams malcolm brogdon mid i don't know his name it's like camaro camara and like five picks i'm sorry 
but I'd rather have what they got rather than Tyler Hero, Jovic, and three first round picks. I don't even know if they offered Jovic, but that's what happens when you don't have assets to get a superstar in Damian Lillard. I'm sorry. You got to look at Pat Riley on that one. He's washed. But Brad Stevens isn't. That's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hold up. I am not done. I don't know how they're going to, you know, use Robert Williams and DeAndre Ayn. I do not want this man, Robert Williams, backing up DeAndre Ayn. I really don't. And the reason why I say that is because Robert Williams is way, way, way more than just a backup center in the NBA. He showed it while he was a starting center on a championship contending team in 2022. He can do it. He's shown you that he can do it. He, he deserves to be a starter. And DeAndre Ayn has already said, hey, I kind of like playing the four. The four is my position. He said that, I think, coming into the league. And maybe he's going to play the four. Maybe Robert Williams is going to be the five. Um, but that's kind of, you know, he, neither here or there because Robert Williams is more of a help defender. I'm yapping. I am yapping. Let me get out of here. I'll see y'all later. Boston Celtics won the trade. Boston Celtics won the offseason. Fuck Damian Lillard. Fuck Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Bucks are going down. This is going to be World War III in the Eastern Conference. I'm still talking. I don't know why I'm still talking. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I'll see y'all later. Peace.